Hey, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am going to be painting a really cool summer decor um, porch sign. So as you come on, say hi, let me know who you are, where you're from, and I'm excited because I it's like a dreary day here in um, Texas. It looks like it's about to start raining. Hey, Karen. Um, and so I'm going to kind of get out of a funk with painting because painting's always good to help you with that. And also, I'm going to be um, doing some really cool stencils. So I'm going to have some turtles on here. Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Christina. Hey, Ann. Go ahead and say hi as you come on. I'm going to do a full-blown tutorial. So you're going to see from the beginning to the end. So if you want to um, hang out and watch, that'd be awesome. You could also, um, if you need to share this to your personal page so you don't forget where it's at. So if you want to come back to it later, you can totally do that too. But um, here's some of the stencils. This one's Take Me to the Beach. Um, this company I love. So if you want to purchase these stencils, just put the word stencil in the comment and we'll make sure to get you the information. Um, I love you to the beach and back. Isn't that cute? I love you to the beach and back. So I'm actually, hey Julie, hey Martha, I'm actually going to do um, a background first and then I'm going to use some of these. And I'm also going to use Summer, the words here, on my porch liner. So um, I have a, a porch sign here that I'll be able to put out and start thinking about Summer. So thank y'all so much for being here. All right, we're going to get started. Let me put these on the side here. And then anybody who has questions while I'm painting, and feel free, obviously, to, to um, say hi to each other. I know a lot of you know each other as you come on here. So make sure you're saying hi to each other as well. And then I'm going to get started on this. So this is my summer sign that I'm going to put there in just a minute. And I just want to get some kind of background on here. So let me scoot you back and kind of point the camera down. Hey, Lynn. Oh, I know. Aren't their stencils so good? Y'all make sure to use coupon code Texas Heidi if you do get the stencils because they do give me a little bit of coffee money, and that's what keeps me painting for y'all. So I um, I definitely need my coffee to have the energy to, to paint for y'all. So make sure um, you use that coupon code if you're going to purchase them. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of white and a little bit of Laguna. Now, anybody that's in my paint party headquarters, you know the drill, as I am creating this right now <laughs> so i don't know if it's going to turn out good or bad or ugly we don't know for sure but um hopefully it will turn out super cute and then all of y'all in paint party headquarters you can use this immediately to start using for your paint party businesses um, and also to use to start making money with it those of y'all that are just watching for fun and just want to paint and um, you can order the stencils go ahead just put the word stencil in and then um, if you paint it and you're like, wow, that was really cool, maybe I could teach this. Then if you want to know more about PPHQ, just put, um, for Paint Party Headquarters, just put Paint Party Headquarters or put PPHQ, um, interested in learning more, and then we could give you some more information. Um, okay, so I'm just taking this and dipping it in a lot of water because this is going to be my background color. And so I want it to have that white with the turquoise and I want it to really have kind of that beachy kind of whitewash feeling and Trudy says I do need I need to get started on my porch cleaners yes definitely Lillian says Heidi my biggest issue is which brushes to use I have a set I purchased but not sure which to use correctly and um, great question so you can see how rusty and gross this brush is I love these two inch brushes. I get them from Michaels, I get them from Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, pretty much everywhere sells these two inch chip brushes. Oh, thank you, Carmen. She sent me some stars, that was sweet. Um, yeah, so I use these chip brushes all the time, okay? So these are really, really good. Um, and I like them because I can get a lot of coverage in a short amount of time so i'll use these first and then i like to use um i'll show you some other brushes here in just a minute debbie says i love the color laguna use it a lot on the thins i 
the things I paint. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Paula, I'm glad you're here. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad so many of you are here. If y'all don't mind, say hi to another person that you see on here that you know or maybe you don't know. And then we are going to add in some other fun stuff here in just a second. Who wants to see a quick and easy palm tree? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Anybody interested in a very quick and easy palm tree? And if you're just tuning in, um, again, my name is Heidi and I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties, either online or in person. And so um, we're just gonna do a really cute porch liner that, that, um, that's easy to paint. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of white because if you've ever, oh, thank you, Peggy, five weeks straight. Have you sent stars to me for five weeks? That is amazing. Or does it mean you've sent them for five weeks? That is awesome. Oh my gosh, who else uses the two inch chip brushes? They are my favorites. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a beach here. So I'm gonna paint white. Let's see if y'all can see this. Oh, and are you coming to the boot camp? Did anybody on here put boot camp? Put or don't do that. Put yes, I'm coming to the boot camp if you already signed up for the boot camp. Debbie says, wish I lived closer to you. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I know. Um if we could like all just live in the same area and just have paint parties together all the time, wouldn't that be ideal? That would be so fun. But yeah, if you're coming to the boot camp, put boot camp. If you're not and you want to know what it is, put yes, I want to know about the boot camp. We have something really cool happening next week. And it is for people who just want to paint. It's for people who want to learn about the business. We are going to have prizes and so much cool stuff. I don't want to give it all away, but we have so much cool stuff happening. Okay, I'm going to streak a little bit of this white, just a little. And then for those of y'all that are wondering why I have a huge white section here. Um, I lived in Panama City Beach for almost 10 years and the sand is white. It is so, so pretty. Um, it's like this clear, I mean, I don't know, and it squeaks. Have y'all been to Panama City Beach and, and you do this with your feet and the, the sand actually squeaks. It is the coolest thing. Oh, Tammy's coming to the boot camp. Yay, Christy's coming. Awesome. And Julie says, yep, she uses hers. Yeah, Julie, you could get them from Harbor Freight. That's right. Um, yes, Adrian's coming to the boot camp. Awesome. Susie says, hello from Tennessee. Well, welcome. Yeah, and if you want to know about the boot camp, or actually I'm going to be teaching you how to paint this painting over here. So we have something really, really cool happening with that painting. So if you want to know more about that, all you have to do is type the word, yes, I want to know more about the boot camp, and then we will um, come back and share it with you. Okay, so I have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a one inch flat. Oh, not that one. That one is, I forgot to put that one in the water. Anybody else do that? <laughs> is it Isha? Oh, I'm so glad you signed up for the boot camp. Yeah, if you are already a PPHQ member, Connie, you do not um, have to pay for the boot camp. The boot camp is only 15 bucks, so y'all don't freak out. It's only $15, but PPHQ gets it for free because you're already a member of PPHQ. So um, those of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, you get it for free. So um, don't pay for it. You can um, go to the announcements and you'll see all the details. Okay, so I'm going to use a burnt umber. Oh, thank you. Is it, is it Kala or Kala? Oh, I hope I'm saying that right. And Michelle says she registered for the boot camp. Oh, awesome. Yes, Deb. Um, Deb, since you're a member, go ahead and go to announcements. You'll see all the info for that. And then you'll be able to be a part of it because you're going to see a lot of really great stuff. And PPHQ gets it for free. Okay, it's burnt umber. What I'm going to do now is paint a very, very easy, very easy. Oh, thank you so much, um, Angie, for sending those stars. I'm going to send a very easy palm tree here. Okay, I'm using two browns. Oh, it's somebody's birthday today. It says, Christy says, my grandson's girlfriend loves the beach. Her birthday is today. Want to paint this for her today. Thanks, Heidi. Oh my gosh, anybody else love the beach as much as me? It's like, 
my happy place. <laughs> I lived there for so long and I miss it so much. And so, yeah, it's, it's hard to get to a beach in North Texas. <laughs> Especially on a day like today, I just want to go walk on the beach. I just want to hear the beach. I just want to see the beach. Okay, so I'm going to mix these two browns. And just for so y'all know, I'm using a raw sienna. And oh, what size is the board? Let me look. And a burnt umber. And raw sienna and a burnt umber. So this board, oh, my measuring thing is in there. So let me look. This one's six foot. So. Let's see. Um, this one's probably 48 inches, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this one's maybe 40, 48 inches. I'll measure it before we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do an easy palm tree, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just right here, just start with the bottom piece, okay? And I'm just gonna kinda Kind of just get it placed. I might actually go all the way across. I might go that way and have it come over. So I'm just doing a line, a line, and then up and up. And as it gets, you know, we want it bigger down here, obviously, and smaller up here. Okay, so this is gonna be the trunk area for that, okay? Then I'm gonna just get a placement of where my leaves go. Now this is a festive green. I'm gonna add some different green in there in a minute. I'm not rinsing my brush. But what I'm gonna do now is just grab it and just bring it in. So I'm just grabbing it. And this is just a whimsical design, nothing serious, y'all. Okay, so I kind of messed up on that one, so you're going to see me have to fix it, <laughs> okay? So I'm just going to go down, down, like that, and then bring it back over a little bit. Now I'm just going to fill this in, and then I'm going to add some yellow streaks in there as well. So for those of y'all that are just now joining me, go ahead and say hi. Let us know where you're from. If you want to get the stencils for the stencils I'm about to use that have to do with this, um, go ahead and type the word stencil. I have a bunch of really cute stencils we're about to use. If you want to know about the boot camp, type boot camp. You're not going to want to miss that. If you love what I'm doing right now, you're going to really love the boot camp <laughs> because it's three full days of awesomeness, especially for those of y'all, number one, that just want to be a part of a really cool online paint party, and number two, for those of y'all that really want to... Um, learn the the back end of this kind of business of doing paint parties in person and so i know some of y'all are like well we're not even open yet i can't do in person but eventually you will be open so why not why not learn and know and um, you know what's going on ahead of time so you can be ready so um so i'm going to go just a little bit in here and let me get some yellow and add to it and you're going to see how this is going to all start to come together Hopefully. <laughs> okay, Jennifer says, Baton Rouge. Hey, Heidi. Well, hello, Jennifer. Oh, hey, Denise. We have so many new people on here watching. So all of y'all that are on here, I just want to remind you, this is a very happy place. So if um, you're a meanie, please don't stay on. We don't, we don't like that. <laughs> so for all of y'all that are here and you're happy and you're ready to watch and have some fun, and enjoy because we're going to have some fun. So I'm going to grab some yellow in my mixed brush and I'm just going to start grabbing it and pulling it over like this, okay? So I'm going to grab that yellow, grab it, and pull it over and just add it in there. So then it just makes it this, this yellowish green. And so we'll pull some of this green here in a minute when I do the turtle stencils. So we have that over there, and then just bring it over. Who here has painted a turtle before? Any of y'all painted a turtle? I've done a few turtles in my life. Hey, Tammy from North, North Carolina. We have Cindy from Virginia. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mandy. Mandy says, reading a Dolly Parton book now, and it is amazing. Such a woman of faith. I know. 
Dolly Parton, y'all, I put her on yesterday as, like, my woman that inspires me. Um, because, you know, I know sometimes people just want to pick people apart. And I think sometimes we need to we need to be careful with that. Let's not pick people apart. <laughs> we don't know, we don't know everybody's story. And I don't know about y'all, but doesn't everybody have a story? Like all of us, each one of you have a story. And I think sometimes people think that we, you know, oh, it's, you know, just poor me or I'm going through this or I'm going through that. And then they think it's easy just to pick some people apart. I remember somebody saying, because I like Dolly Parton, they weren't going to watch what I do anymore. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? And, and if they read anything about Dolly Parton, they would know that she has, you know, not only um, paved the way for so many, you know, women and, and entrepreneurs in general, but she does not put up with people's crap. And I think that's what I really love about her is she really, like, she makes things happen. You know, when she was putting together Dollywood, um, there were people that said, oh, that you can't do that. Like that dream was too big. That dream was too, too crazy. And then what she did was um, <laughs> she fired those people. She was like, okay, you're not on board. Um, see ya. And then what did she do? She opened up Dollywood. And not only did she open up Dollywood, which we held an event there last year, which was amazing. And um, not only did she do that, but she has given back time and time again. And so I think it's just so... It's so easy, especially for us in today's time when we're sitting behind a key, keyboard or we're sitting behind a, a Facebook page or online thing to just quickly, like, call somebody out or be mean to them, you know? It's so easy for us just to quickly judge and to quickly um, just be negative because we're in a bad place that day, so we're just going to... We're just going to type out our anger to somebody else. And I think so many times, you know, it's easy. You know, we've all been in those situations where we thought, oh, who are they? Or, you know, oh, I can't believe they did that. And we just want to give our, we just want to give our opinion. We just want to give them our two cents, right? But go back to the, like, golden rule of just, you know, treat other people how you want to be treated. So I know that has nothing to do with me painting a palm tree. I just thought maybe it was a good public service announcement <laughs> for us to try to try to be kind to each other and give each other a little grace because everybody is going through something and um and everybody has a story. I mean, you have a story. You know, I I teach people a lot about, you know, paint parties and business and the thing that I'm here that makes my heart just hurt a lot of times is is people say, well, I don't have a story. Like, you know, I, I talk a lot about my story and bankruptcy to business owner. And that's why I have such a passion about helping you make money through this, right? Well, um, you know, sometimes people go, well, I don't have a story that's so dramatic like that. Or, you know, I didn't lose everything or whatever. And I'm like, everybody has a story. It doesn't have to be this dramatic thing to have a story. Um, your story is going to be different than mine. And so what I want you to do, though, is as you are creating and as you're, you're making things and purchasing fun stencils and, you know, making this into whatever you decide to make it into, I think you have to, like, know your purpose with it. Is your purpose for painting just for healing? You know, that was mine for a long time, just for healing. Um, let's see. Priscilla says, I just told my husband how I enjoy watching you when you're on your positivity and and the oh thank you so much oh my gosh so so cool um yeah so so I think what I want y'all to know is that just be kind to each other you know especially people online there's a lot of us like what I'm doing right now that I mean y'all don't know this but we get bashed like crazy and so as a person who's mentoring other people to do something similar um, I always want to be honest with you and, and remind you that, you know, people are human. They're human on the other side of any business, any small business. Um, they're human. They have feelings. And then even as y'all go in, because I know a lot of you that are watching me right now are doing your own businesses too. And I want you to remember that, you know, yeah, it can hurt. It can like not feel good. It can, um, 
you know, be in a position where like you feel like, oh my gosh, I know I'm supposed to do this, but why are people so mean or why is that happening? And um, I want you to know that that it's always about them. There's certain things about them. You know, we've gotten so many messages before that that um that honestly, like I'll tell my team, just don't even reply because I know that message was just done in their anger and in their sadness. And I know that that's really not how they feel. And um, it's just sometimes it comes across that way. And it, yeah, it sucks and it hurts, but that's just part of it. Um, because you're going to find people, I'm using black paint now, and I haven't rinsed my brush. And you're going to find people, you know, everywhere in this world, whether it's you doing something online or you trying to create a business. And, and you know, I know some of y'all are on here and you're like, I just want to learn about painting, Heidi. Why are you talking about business? Well, for those of you that don't know, I teach you how to make money doing this as a business. So I just want to let you know that that's, unfortunately, that part is normal. Um, you know, and it's part of, of learning the business side. It's part of realizing that there is not a business out there that doesn't get people, um, that doesn't get under people's skin <laughs> because they've said something mean or they've hurt your feelings or, um, and I want you to know that it's, I think it's just part of the maturity and the growth. You know, when I, when I first started doing this and I first started getting those, those few, you know, emails or messages or whatever. I'm gonna use this and start adding in some, just kind of blending in some black here, like that. See how it's just like a little swoop? Like that, that's it. And um, so yeah, so I just wanted to let you know that, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunately it's normal, um, but also it does get easier. And when you start to come at it more with a mature um, feeling of, you know, there's gonna be some people that are mean, um, but it's not about you. It's always about them. And so as you're on here, you know, we try to make this a really happy place. We try to make this a really nice place for people to come. And just remember that. I just wanted to say that because I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe somebody on here felt like they needed to hear that. I don't know why I went off on that tangent. And um, but you all have a story. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yes, you need a thick skin, but not a thick heart. That's so true. Yeah, and um, Gail says, your palm tree is beautiful. I always try too hard to make too much detail. Actually, your palm tree is probably going to be way prettier than mine. I just like to make them pretty um, simple. So I'm going to outline this one too. And then I'm going to show y'all how to use these stencils. So as you come on, again, my name is Heidi. I know a lot of people are popping on. And um, I just want to let you know that if you want to purchase the stencils that I'm about to use, just put the word stencil. If you want to get text from me, I know I have a Texas accent and it's hard for y'all to understand what I say sometimes. And um, if you want to get a text message from me, it's telling you when I'm gonna be live. If you would please put, um, just put, you know, yes, I want your text. Or if somebody could, actually, if you could write this number down, if y'all could write this number down or somebody type it, you can text me and then um, I'll text you when I'm live. So you'll know when I'm live. So it's 817, if somebody wants to type this, 817-373-5478. 817-373-5478. Bonnie, you needed to hear that. Oh, thank you. I was hoping somebody did. Georgie says, you're so inspirational. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad somebody wanted or needed to hear that because um, it's true. I want y'all to know, like, I'm very, very transparent when it comes to what it takes to build a business. And it's not always, dang it, it's not always rainbows and unicorns. I got hair, I got paint in my hair. Wonderful. Oh, thank you, Melinda, for putting that on there. I just got some paint in my hair. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, if y'all want to text me, just text me and say, hey, Heidi. And then um, it comes to my phone. And then anytime I'm live, I can give you a um, message and let you know. I'm going to turn this over and just do some coconuts just by turning this over like this. Nothing serious. And then anybody that's on here that wants to know about the boot camp, like I said, even if you just want to come to paint, 
It's um, only 15 bucks, and I'm gonna be giving away so hundreds of dollars worth of prizes. So you're gonna love it. Oh, good, got the text. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, the text is very important because if for some reason, let me take a drink of my root beer. If for some reason Facebook wanted to not show my stuff or something like that, I could give you um, a text and then you'll know where I'm at. So, and then you can always just ignore if you don't want to hear. I usually only text like two times a week. So, um, so if you want to um, know about that, make sure you text me. So write down my number and then make sure you text me. Okay, so we have the palm tree going on. I'm gonna add some white highlights. I'm just gonna use this, I cleaned my brush. I'm gonna use white paint. Oh, thank you so much, Cheryl. Thank you, Paula. Are y'all liking this so far? I'm just gonna add this white into here, just some lines. And it's gonna all start coming together here in just a second. And this is this is just a painting I needed to do. I feel like I just want to, to think about summer and beautiful sunshine. I know a lot of people in the world are just over winter. So I just wanted to come on here and if you wanna buy the stencils, put stencil. If you wanna be a part of the boot camp, put boot camp. And if you wanna text me, make sure you text me. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in a little white highlight there. Same thing on here. I'm just gonna add in some little white highlights. Okay, nothing major, just some fun. Okay, so now let me rinse those. Let's have some fun with some stencils. What do y'all think? Y'all wanna do that? Oh, thank you, Renee. Thank you, Desi. Okay, so let's have some fun with some stencils. Now, we have some options. So I was thinking I could do summer over the whole thing, which would basically be like really big, you know, right over top of it. I was thinking I could use like a certain, I don't know, I might use that bright pink and put summer over all of it. Or I could be a little bit more um, calmer and I could do some cute stuff like this. So let me show you what it looks like. There's like sand, surf, and sun. I could put that like at the top. I really wanna do these turtles. I was gonna put these on here somewhere. How do you do this so fast? I have to second guess everything. Oh, <laughs> I've been painting since I was 14 and I love whimsical designs. So I don't really worry too much about mistakes. Um, oh, a flamingo. I have definitely painted a few flamingos in my life. Take me to the beach. Oh, I mean, that would be cute. Just a giant flamingo. That's a new idea for another one. Ooh, pina coladas. That sounds fun. Okay, so what do y'all think between, I think I might do some um, of these too. What do y'all think about these? What are these called? Uh, why am I going blank? Life is better at the beach. I think I want to do summer all the way down and then add in some some extras. So what about some of these? Turtles in the sand, love the turtle. Okay, so we're for sure doing turtles. And then, oh, sand dollars. That's what they're called. <laughs> so maybe I'll do some sand dollars too. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use, let me see, this glorious gold and see, uh, I don't know, I might wanna do a little bit of a green on there too. Okay, oh, that is very wet. I just rinsed my brushes before I got on here. I know, D. aren't they cute? This is, um, if you wanna get these stencils, just type the word stencil, and then we'll give you the information, but it's the six by six beach stencils. Um, oh, sand dollar, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so let's, oh, sorry, went a little too far. Okay, so let's put right here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of green with a little bit of brown. So it's just a little, and we'll see how these turn out. This one's like, these are like sea. These are like swimming. I guess these swimming stencils can, they can be on here too, right? Maybe I'll do the sand dollar first. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe it's like he's going back to the beach. 
Yeah, that's what we'll do. He's going back, he's going back in the water. So I gotta add the water. And I wanna add a sun stencil that I have too. Okay, so there's one turtle and he needs a friend. So I just added that green with a little brown so it's not so, so bright green. Okay, can y'all see that? You should do a seminar. We can all come for the weekend and we can all actually meet you. Hey, Renee, that's so cool. I actually do that. Um, it's called Paint Party Business Live. So um, we have, we did it last year in Dollywood and the year before in Fort Worth. So watch, we will be doing another one coming up soon. I'll make sure to announce and I will definitely text about that. So make sure you text me. Okay, so these are swimming turtles, so they're going back to the ocean. Now I need to add some blue. I'm gonna use the same blue I had over here, and I'm gonna bring it in right here, okay? So I'm just gonna grab that same blue and have me a horizon line right here. And because I don't like things normal, I'm gonna fill it in, and then I'm gonna make some funky waves <laughs> because I like to make things a little bit more whimsical. So let me go ahead and add this in and show y'all a little tip here. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in so we have it. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter towards the sand. See how I just grab that and fold it? Okay, and then just kinda Add in some of your white and do it horizontally so it looks like it's part of the water, like a sandbar and it's lighter. And because I love the PCB ocean so much, I'm going to do just a very, very small hint of green. So it has a little bit of that greenish emerald coast color. What is y'all's favorite beach, by the way? Y'all know mine. <laughs> Obviously, I always paint about it. <laughs> what is y'all's favorite beach? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Oh, my phone number is 817-373-5478. Um, oh, thank you, Katie. She says, I love watching you paint and how encouraging you are. Um, you have such steady hands and my lines are wonky. <laughs> Cheryl, it's okay. I have to be careful how much coffee I drink. That's why my root beer has no caffeine in it. It's the A&W because if I have too much coffee, too much coffee, I'm sorry, I had a phone call trying to come through. Okay, so I'm gonna take a liner brush now and I'm gonna add in some waves, okay? So this is kind of something fun you can do to make your painting just stand out. So I'm just gonna use a liner brush with some black paint, and I'm just gonna start adding in, and this is where my shakiness will probably show. So if you're worried about having shaky, it, it's totally normal. So what I do is I will hold my my hand steady like that, or I'll put my pinky down. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda go over, add some waves. And I know some of y'all are way, way better painters than I am. Um, ooh, the Caribbean beaches, oh, I love those, Lydia. Seaside in Florida, yep, yeah, where I lived in Panama City Beach, that's all that run of beaches is so pretty. Um, so I'm just grabbing this and just adding it. So some of y'all are way better painters than I am and you'll end up making this really, really cool. And remember, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you can immediately use my design to start making money. And um, if you're not in Paint Party Headquarters, I don't mind if you paint it, just don't use it to make money with it. Um, but if you decide you wanna start making money with it, look into our, our Paint Party Headquarters program because that gives you rights to all my designs so you can use it for your business. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up here. I'm just gonna bring this and just keep on adding it, okay? And then I'm gonna to have to fill in a little bit of blue. 
All right, so this is just an easy way to give it kind of some just funkiness, to give it more of the whimsical. It's nothing serious. And I love just drawing these waves, you know, if I'm doodling or if I'm, you know, bored somewhere, which doesn't happen often to me. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of doodle and draw these, these colors or these little figures of these waves. Okay, so now what we can do is if we want, I have another, let me see if I have this. I have another stencil from um, one of the packages. I actually helped create um, this package of stencils. It's like an explorer package. So this one has like a fun sun, which I thought might look really cute. We could put that somewhere if we want to put the sun. It's like the camper life stencils. So I might have to wait on that just a few minutes. And then um, the, the summer right here on top. Oh, let me do a couple of these. Um, little sand dollars. All right, our neighborhood friend wants to do, oh, they want to do a paint party. That's awesome, a skyline paint party. So cool. Patty says Siesta Key Beach. Where's that at? Where's Siesta Key at? Is it a um, pretty beach? I'm going to use just that gold to go in for the sand dollar. Oh, I have my hair. And then, dang it. We're just gonna have some hair. We're gonna have some textured hair. Okay, and you gotta be careful when you're using your stencils. Go up and down. And then I should have offloaded, like Victoria tells me, I forgot to offload. Offload just means grab it and then dab it. Oh, grab and dab. <laughs> yes, the white powdered sand is my fave. I'm gonna put a couple of these on here. And my stencil brush is messy with green. That's why I'm not using it right now. But if you want to get yourself a stencil brush, just type the word stencil brush. We'll make sure to put the, the link for you. Okay, so a couple of those. I'm gonna put one more just kind of off the page here. Okay, there we go. So we have like three and then two of those. Sometimes they say in design, do things like in fives. I don't know. That's what they say. Anybody know that any of that's true? <laughs> Sometimes I just say, paint what makes you happy. That's the best part. <laughs> okay, let's see. Billy says, I can't decide whether to do a leaner or just um, the turtles are so cute. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so this is really wet. I'm going to just set this. Let me see. I'm going to actually let this dry for just a second. And then I'm going to get the pink because I'm going to do the summer in a, I don't know, should I do bright pink or should I do more of like a, a light tan color or maybe a goldish color? What do y'all think on this color? Should I go bright pink with the summer written out really big or should I keep it more muted? Maybe go like a, ooh, what about a navy blue? What about a navy blue? Carol says odd numbers. Oh, good. It is right. Yeah, so let me know. I'm thinking either navy blue, I think I might do that, um, versus the hot pink. So let me know which one you think would be better. Hot pink or navy blue? And I'm going to let that dry a minute and then answer some questions about the boot camp. Okay, so Renee, that leads me perfectly to that. She says, just ordered to be included in the boot camp. Okay, so awesome. If you want to be a part of the Paint Party Boot Camp, here's what it's about. It's only $15. There's a link pinned to the comments. Um, it has right here, you're going to learn how to paint this painting on day one, step by step. You're going to learn how to paint that painting day on day one. Um, that if you just want to come and like have a chance at winning prizes, um, oh, we got bright pink and navy or pink. Awesome. Yeah, if you want to know about the stencils, just put the word stencils and we'll give you the link after. Use coupon code Texas Heidi and you get a discount and it doesn't cost you any more. <gasps> Coral, Tammy, that's a great idea. Deborah says bright pink. Lisa says yellow. Yellow is a great suggestion, except I would have to do white first, then yellow because it would have a hard time sticking. Um, because straight yellow would be a little bit harder. 
Um, okay, so you're gonna get day one, we're gonna paint. We're gonna have an online paint party. So from the comfort of your own home, you're gonna be able to paint with me. So if you just wanna paint with me, it's worth the $15 because you're going to be able to um, have the recording. You're gonna have access and a chance to win a ton of prizes, um, including an Archon mount, stencils, all kinds of stuff. So just that alone is gonna be worth it. Then number two, day two, you're gonna see me um, you're going to be in your home watching online me teach a real live paint party. So if you've ever wanted to be a fly on the wall and watch me and my team do setup, when I say me and my team, I mean me and my husband and my daughter and my mother-in-law, my family basically, and a couple of people. Um, we're going to be setting up, we're going to be cleaning up, and you'll also see me teach this painting live. Um, and then day three, we're going to break it down. So if you want to know... Oh, I love that, Julie. Navy blue with hot pink highlights. Oh, that sounds awesome. And coral, too. I'm really excited about the coral. I think I might go... I might go coral. I usually don't do the coral, so I'm excited about that. Um, so then day three, we're going to break it down, how you can actually make money doing a paint party yourself. So I'm really, really excited about it. It's going to be the best online event we have ever done to date. Um, so for $15, even if you're curious, you can't really lose. So if you want to know about that, put boot camp, and we'll make sure to get that for you. Okay, so let me find some coral. I might have to do some mixing of my own. Because I don't, oh, this might be a pretty coral. Maybe I don't. Ooh, I think I might want to add this too. Okay, y'all. Y'all got me excited about this. I think I'm going to mix these two. What do y'all think? Coral. Yep, lots of people saying coral now. I love that painting so much. Can't wait to teach. Oh, yeah, April. I know. I'm so excited about, about this. So for those of y'all that are ready to do that spring one, um, and then this one I think is going to be really fun for y'all. I mean, and we're, you know, we're definitely, when you're watching this, we are definitely going to have plenty of time to use this as summer paint parties because you want to do your summer stuff a little bit sooner. Okay, so I am mixing orange twist, orange twist with coral. Okay, so we're going to see what that does. And then this is also a stencil that you can get. And it's summer. It actually says sweet summer. It says sweet summer time. I'm just going to use it as summer. And so I'm going to mix these two together. And then we're going to see what happens, okay? So it is still a little wet. To remedy that, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to fast forward the, the drying time by just doing a little bit of a self self drying here because <laughs> I want to be able to show y'all this without having to go get my blow dryer out okay all right so we got that now I need to get summer on here make sure I have it okay Talk amongst yourselves. I'm concentrating. <laughs> yeah, if you want boot camp information and like Brenda just posted, go ahead and just say boot camp. And then we will, ah, we will um, definitely get that for you. Okay, so I just want to make sure these are lined up well. As you can see, I do not wash my stencils. Um, I know some people have a very strong opinion about that. It's okay. There's you cannot wash them, you can wash them. It's totally up to you. And um, I just find that I don't like to spend my time washing brushes and, well, brushes I have to, except I accidentally did not do one of them. As y'all saw earlier, I couldn't use it. But, um, but I don't, I just use my stencils and then I just move them and let them dry somewhere. Okay. But if I'm doing this at a paint party, I'll actually, I don't use a baby wipe. I'll use like a um, paper towel just to dab it dry like you saw me do on the painting. That way we can quickly move to the next person using the stencil. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see if this works. All right, let's hope for the best. So I'm gonna just use my chip brush. might need to 
get really standing because it's a lot of a lot of dabbing. And if you want to purchase this stencil, just put the word stencil in there, and then we'll we'll get you the information. And if you are using the company I recommend, if you'll please use the coupon code Texas Heidi. It gets you a discount. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but they give me some money to help help pay for my coffee addiction. So I appreciate that. Okay, so we got that there. Okay, so those two are good. I'm going to just check it. I'm not going to show you yet. I want it to be a surprise for y'all. So I'm just going to check it before I, I show y'all. I think this is going to help with... Oh, yeah. Loving it. Okay, this, is, this was a good choice. Thank you for those of y'all that suggested coral. Great job. <laughs> and she says, ah, oh, you're going to go over the little turtle. Actually, yes, I might have to put some more turtles in there because I am going right over both of them. Like, total, almost their whole bodies. Poor turtles. Poor turtles. I'm going to have to paint another turtle on there. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's the great thing with paint. We can just add it on there. It's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to put this in the water before I destroy it because I will forget mixing this up. Wiping some off, dabbing, offloading, and then I'm going to hold tight. And if it's still too wet, you'll start to see the colors mixing. If it doesn't mix and it makes your color still that pure, then you know you're okay. I think we're okay because we did the outlining pretty close to the beginning. So that's another thing If those of y'all that are teaching paint parties in person, make sure, like if you have a customer that's wanting to do this part of it, if they're waiting too long to get all their details on the bottom, what's going to happen? Anybody got a guess? Paint party's gonna last 15 hours. <laughs> so you have to make sure, especially when you're doing lettering over a, a painting like this, you have to make sure that you're timing everything correctly. So you can see here, you know, how long it's taken me to do this, and I'm actually talking while I'm doing it and I'm I'm creating it. Um, can't you let the turtles complete the R? <laughs> <laughs> I could. I maybe I could. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. I, I have a feeling I might need to just cover the turtles and add them back. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just paint. I'll just cover them and add them right back. We'll make sure those turtles have a, a scene. We'll make sure they're in here. Yeah, I didn't realize when I set it there, I would have went a little bit to the left. But um, that you always want to be able to time it. So, and also... So that other people can use the stencil because I usually buy if I'm doing this as a paint party I'll buy three I'll buy one stencil for every two to three people because if not they're having to wait so long turtles don't worry I'll add you back don't worry don't worry I'll add you back <laughs> let's see Renee says so on the paint party boot camp, are we able to invite a friend for free or do they have to pay 15? Um, no, they have to pay. They have to pay. Um, actually, let me let me take that back. If they're at your house and y'all are watching on the same device, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. But um, but they won't be able to get like their own login, you know, so if they want to watch it later or, you know, watch some of the other stuff later, they would have to like be with you to watch that. But yeah, if y'all are at the same house and you're wanting to paint together, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, let's see if we did it right. And then we'll have to paint a couple turtles back. Okay, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Kim says, we have faith in you, Heidi. <gasps> I'm glad you do because I'm a little nervous about this because I went a little crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. The good news is, is I can always use a liner brush if I'm not totally happy with my lines because I did go a little crazy with too much paint. Dang it, hold on. Oh, I think I'm gonna like it. Oh, I have some paintings over there. I can't ruin those. Hold on. Y'all doing drum roll? Oh, Renee got drum roll, Nadine. 
Everyone was worried about those cutie patootie turtles. I know. Okay, so the turtles did get covered. Don't worry. We are about to add them back. So here's the great thing with painting is you can easily erase stuff. You can easily add it back. You can easily, easily in a, just a couple of swipes, I'm going to put some more turtles on there. So don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, I'm going to use some, some green, some brown. Let's make sure y'all can see this so you know those turtles have a home again. We got a very, very worried turtle family here. So we got turtles going behind the R. Now we got this turtle going in front of the R. Let's see what happens. Maybe it gives it a, an interesting look. We're going to make sure those turtles are able to get to the ocean. Okay, so let me add a little bit more green to this one. Okay, so there's one. Oh, good. Now it's almost like it looks like he's with his friends. I like it. I'm going to add one more just because I feel like we have some turtle fans. <laughs> Do we have some turtle fans here? Okay, let me add. Let me see if I can get this one right on top. So this one's kind of overlapping. Oh, I didn't offload, so that may have been a mistake. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. Sorry about that. So what happened was I didn't offload, so I ended up with a little bit more paint than I wanted. Okay, so real quick, what I want to show you about this is if you ever are doing this and you want it to be more defined, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my favorite colors and then I'll show you just a couple more little tips and then we'll be done and um, I'm going to use this royal fuchsia and I'm going to use a liner brush and I want to show you what can happen just with a couple of strokes okay so here we have our summer I'm just going to kind of take it and do a little bit of an outline okay so let me see if y'all can see it from here Almost painted all over my jacket. Okay, so can y'all see that? It's how I'm just going to kind of go under. And this again, this is just kind of going above, like if you're, you know, let's say you're using this to, to sell and you want to just make sure it looks really good and crisp. You can go in there and just add. So it's kind of like we have it going under, I'm going to do right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna just here and there, not a lot. We're just gonna kind of add that hot pink. And then for those of y'all that are wanting to learn more about doing stuff like this as possibly earning a little extra, um, make sure you sign up for that boot camp. I'm telling you, this is going to be the best online event we have ever done. Um, we are so excited about it. We have put so much time, energy, resources. Um, we have hundreds of y'all that have already signed up for it. It actually is next week. If you're watching this and you're watching the replay, go ahead and still type boot camp. There may be a chance for you to watch the replay of it. But for those of y'all that are watching right now, you're going to be able to see all of it live. So make sure you type boot camp so that you can see it all live because you're not going to want to miss it. Like I said, this is going to be one of our best online events we have ever done to date. So we are really, really excited about it. We're really proud of it. Um, and we really want you to be a part of it because there's going to be so many chances for you to win prizes, for you to, to have some fun, whether you just want to come paint with us or... You want to learn more so you can just do the first night with us which is next Tuesday it's in one week from today you can just do the first night with us which is just the painting or you can stay for all three nights which is the painting watching behind the scenes as well as the um, 
the kind of the takeaways, you know, like how you could do that, how you could make some money doing that. So we are excited. I feel like, you know, God has really shown me how to make money doing this. And my purpose is to kind of share God's love through art and help you, you know, even if it's just a few hundred extra dollars a month. Um, so you can make some money doing something creative. So I'm really, really excited to be able to offer this to you. I wish there would have been somebody that would have taught me back in the day when I was making all my mistakes and figuring this out by myself. Um, I didn't have anybody I could go to. I was just trying to blindly find answers on YouTube and hoping for, for answers. So if you've been wanting to learn something like that, or you just want to come hang out and do some painting with us, that's totally fine too. For 15 bucks, there's really no risk in it. You're, there's really no risk. You'll get the recording even if you can't make it um, live, but I definitely want y'all to try to make it live. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, let's see, Carla says, question, if we go through the boot camp, will we be able to use that design to make money or do we still have to wait until we sign up for PPHQ? Great question. So what we'll do is, if you decide to sign up for Paint Party Headquarters, then you'll have rights to use all my designs to make money. So for those of y'all um, that are looking to be a part of Paint Party Headquarters, you don't want to miss this boot camp <laughs> because we don't open the doors till, till May, but there may be a surprise in there. Um, let's see, um, is the $15 each night? Oh, 15 total. It's super cheap. Yeah, 15 total. And um, Terry says, join late. This makes me want to go to the beach. Me too. That's why I painted it. Because I was like, it's kind of a dreary day. And I really wanted to do something that just made me want to think about summer. Okay, so the last thing needed. Does anybody know what it is? What's our guess? Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of white real quick to the waves. And then what am I missing? All of y'all that do watch me, you probably already know this answer. But let's see if you know me well enough yet. Let's see. I'm just adding a little bit of white. Let's see. Oh, if you don't have a porch, you could make this for somebody else, Kim. Or you could put it inside, too. If you have, like, a fun area inside you wanted to, to put this in. Or a lot of times I just paint these and then give them to friends or something. Um, Marie says, if we miss a night of the boot camp, can we watch the replay? Yeah, you'll have an entire year to watch them. Um, and then also the, the Facebook group will be, it's like a pop-up group. It'll stay open till March 31st, but even after I archive it, you'll still have access to it for an entire year. So, um, so yeah, so you'll have access if you can't watch it or you're, you're, you know, thinking you can do some of the nights, but not all of them you can. Oh, look at y'all. Y'all know me. Glitter and gold. <laughs> yes. Glitter and gold. And then also, I'm just going to take some big swooshes of white. And this always just kind of makes things kind of pop. So if you're ever unsure and you're kind of doing a more whimsical painting, um, the white lines always seem to help. And I just kind of add those in different places. And they just kind of make it look a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more cartoony, I guess. Just make sure if you're doing wet paint on wet paint that you, oh, that's a big old glob. Hold on. <laughs> I accidentally got a lot of wet paint. You can always use a baby wipe too. <laughs> baby wipe. Uh, let's see. What is it? The PP, whatever you said about, it. oh, Paint Party Headquarters. Is that what you said? And Paint Party Headquarters, that's where I teach you every month with new designs and stuff like that. So um, we have um, about 2,000 people in that group that I teach. I give you designs. I give you marketing strategies, all kinds of stuff for your Paint Party business. And um, so we open the doors for in May for that, the, towards the end of May. But if you're wanting to know more about that, definitely sign up for the boot camp because we may have a little surprise in there about that during the boot camp. So make sure if you are interested in the paint party business world at all, for sure. And then if you just wanna paint with us, go ahead and just paint with us too. Okay, so let me show you my favorite glitter. And then if you have any questions about the boot camp, type the word boot camp. We'll make sure to go back and give you information about it, okay? So um, just type the word boot camp. 
And then this is my favorite glitter. It's called Crystal. And I use this for so many reasons. Number one, my husband hates the shake glitter, although I have it everywhere. He just doesn't know how much of it I have, but it's everywhere. <laughs> so I have to be quiet because he's, he's in the house. So, um, so yes, so the shake glitter is awesome, but it is not awesome for paint parties. So make sure you do not use that at paint parties. I've made that mistake a few times. And then this glitter is, you want to make sure that people are using it once everything dries. So I'll have people that come to my paint parties and they get real sneaky and they grab it beforehand. Don't let them do that, okay? Because if they go beforehand, it's going to ruin it. So I like to take it as long as the areas are dry, you can paint right on top of it. So we know that this palm tree has been dried for a while. So I can go ahead and just grab it and paint right on top with that glitter. And then I'm gonna bring it up to you and show you what it looks like. Because this is a really, if you've never painted with glitter before, let me know if you can see it shine. See how it shines? So I like to put a lot of glitter on. Sometimes I even encourage, um, you know, I'm, I always bring plenty of glitter because it's sometimes you'll find people that have never painted before and then they use the glitter and then they come back because they just want to paint with glitter again. And, um, and it's really, really fun. Can y'all see that? You're whispering about glitter like you might. He won't watch the video. He's seen so many videos of me. <laughs> he won't watch the video. So don't tell him. I know I'm, I'm in a safe space. Okay. This is a safe glitter space. Just gotta be quiet about the shake glitter. <laughs> this guy doesn't mind at all. Okay, so there it is. And you can add glitter anywhere. So once this dries, I'll add glitter on top. And then um, for those of y'all on Paint Party Headquarters, um, I have exactly where you can get these boards. I'll post that in the group. Um, so you can get them already pre-made. And then those of y'all that um, are wanting to learn more about this, Sign up for the boot camp, okay? And if you have not texted me yet, what are you waiting for? Text me, literally on your cell phone, text me, say, hey, Heidi, to 817-373-5478. And if you missed that, just go to textheidi.com and it'll save you, you can save me in your phone, okay? So textheidi.com. All right, what do y'all think of this? Good, bad? And also, those of y'all that got the text from me about this, you know something cool that is happening during this live. So I will be texting out about, to, to one of you, about what I'd said in the text. So if you did not get the text, make sure you did that.